Hey guys, welcome to SE Access. This is your team, the GM Factory Joseph Matos. And right now, we're going to be having some really intense action here in SE Access. I wonder what was that all about? What did Marie still mean by going after the kid and for the money? Because we have like three to four matches scheduled for you guys tonight. Let's go down to the car. Let's do this. First, our taxi match as the Moonlight Symphony will take on the Children of Prophecy. Then Tyga will be taking on the debuting Marie Silva. Moe also a grudge match as Moe, the Wolves champ, will be taking on Igus and our main event, the Kid, will be taking on HWO's April Acid. I mean, we got a limousine coming in here. I wonder if it could be in here. It looks like the HWO has made their revival here at the arena. Alright, so we'll be going on our first match, taxi match. As, as the Blue Light Symphony, we'll be taking on the Children of Prophecy. Ooh. And coming there with their way to the ring first is Sai and Lucy, the, the, the Blue Light Symphony. And these two have hit a lot of history, especially since last season they were able to conquer their fast units. Sai, who was able to successfully become the new Kamikaze Rose, blessed by Raith, given to her by Reika. And Lucy was able to overcome her past demons. Also, Sai had a challenge of facing her past as she fought her past self that took on the name of Unico. These two have been through a lot last season, and they finally conquered the demons, and now have teamed up together to try to take the SE tag team titles. But it will be a long road for them to climb. And now here coming to the ring are the Children of Prophecy, Dolores and Idolo. And Dolores is the one wearing the light, the light yellow. And Idolo is the one wearing like the darkest yellow. I don't know much about these two. Children of Prophecy, I wonder if that means they must, they must be really important. Because it had to mean Prophecy, you know it has to be some kind of Prophecy for these two. I also wonder how their skills will be here in this match. They'll be taking on two veterans here, Lucy and Sai. And the very respect, this is the first time Sai and Lucy have ever teamed up. Alright, here we go. Santa Bell and the match is underway. It's 15 minutes, roll down the clock. And look, and Lucy and Idolo will be starting this match first. Lucy countering Idolo, going right for a, for a grab from behind. Going right for a Russian leg sweep. Lucy, probably one of the most dangerous women here at SEA. You know, the Lillian is one of the most dangerous moves in SA. Anybody who gets hit with the Lillian has never kicked out. And Idolo just knocks Sai off the apron. But I left the Idolo right over with Idolo with a counter. He was driving the elbow right to the head of Lucy. And now grabbing her by her arm, he's just going right for a Fujiwara arm armbar, working on Lucy's arm. I also know that Lucy also packs a very powerful punch. And Idolo was this? Elo got Lucy over the shoulder, but Lucy with a reversal right into a DDT. It's going to take a lot more than that to try to put uh, Lucy away. And Lucy making the tag aside. Side who is named Oh, wait a minute. Elo. Before I say anything, Elo with a suplex on Lucy. That left side and left it right open for side with a release German suplex. And like I said before, Sai was named the new Kamikaze Rose by Reiko before she retired last season in Revelation in one of the most important matches of her career. And Sai, what's this? Sai got over the shoulder, running power slam, doing for some push ups. Sai was neat, was trained by Reiko Ginamoto. I guarantee you that one of these days, Sai will get a shot at the women's title one Sunday. She had. I remember all the classic battles she had, especially the one with her teacher, which was probably one of the most physical contests ever. That it could have been anybody's victory. And Idolo making a tag to Dolores, and Dolores with a missile dropping the side. 
but she didn't she but Dolores caught more of the more of the canvas more than she caught Sai. That's why Sai was able to get so easily. What is this? Sai picking her up and throwing her across the ring with that fallaway slam. Dolores made that mistake and made it. Sai with the amnesia! Sai just caught the Lures with the amnesia! That could be all! I don't, it, it's Sai going right for the cover, that could be it! The one! Two! And no, Elo make, barely making the save right there! And wait a minute! Ooh, reverse atomic drop right there by the Lures. The Lures tried to catch with an elbow, but didn't catch her, didn't hit her hard enough! And Sai got a counter to a headlock! Hitting her right in the head with the elbow. Punch, chop, another chop. And now she's got her once again in the front face lock. But Dolores was able to counter to a wrist. Going right for a snapmare and butterfly lock. But Sai's foot is under the rope. Dolores trying to, you know, try to do something to wear down Sai or slow down Sai. Right now going for a just dropping her right in the canvas. Just picking Sai up. Sai sending the side being sent right into their corner. And now Dolores tagging back Idolo. And Elo for the double axe handle right to Sai's arm. Ready to go behind, switching it, sending her right back to the turnbuckle. Once again making the tag to Dolores. And Elo just launching Dolores right at Sai. And that could be all the referee going for the cup. The one, two, and Lucy just in time just threw Dolores off. And Dolores got distracted. Release German suplex. Sai is deadly with those release German suplexes. And just going right for the Fujiwara armbar. I admit we had one. Oh, what a. Damn, what a Polish hammer right there. The shades of I of wrestling legend Ivan Putski. And a neck breaker there by Lucy. I gotta admit, during Serenity Eternity, you've had like a lot of emotional situations. Like the Anna Diamond situation with the HWO. And I believe that, you know, and also the kid with one of the biggest upsets in history was able to like, knock out Envy. <clears throat> I gotta know that must hurt Envy's pride a lot. And I think the kid's been added right into HWO's hit list. And also, what's the deal with Marie Silva, you know, coming in here to SDA, uh, like a, a boxer, but she, you know, not just boxing, Marie Silva does kickboxing as well, and Lisa just delivering some punches, and, come on, come on, referee, <clears throat> I swear to God, referee always getting in the way, that's when the referee just got thrown out of the ring, and Dolores taking advantage of that distraction, going right for a missile drop kick to Lucy, and Dolores once again going up the top rope, <clears throat> delivering an elbow, but that did not hurt Lucy that much. Lucy just shrugged it off. <laughs> and what's this? Swinging her and just slamming her right in the canvas. You know, the Army of Darkness made their mark on Eternity as Lucy's going for a sleeper hold right now. As Rebecca Nightfall and D13 were put down by Lilith and Angelus. And what a, what a battle that was for the tag team titles. Well, for a shot at the belts. And also, you know... I think that's about it, as, as much of previously. Elbow right there. Modi will be taking on Igis tonight. And I know that Igis wants to get her hands on Modi for what she did to Metis. Her tag team partner, Senton Splash right there by Idolo. And a kick to the bat and a shot, a coming shot to the neck by Lucy. Dominating these two right now. And once again, just throwing Elo out the right there. Short of clothesline by Lucy. And now she just picks up Idolo. And just grabbing Elo. What's she doing here? She just launches Idolo right to the center of the ring. And now she's picking up Dolores. Oh no. She's going to go for it. She's going to go for one of the most deadliest moves here in SCA. The Lilium. And that, that could be all. One, two, three. That's it. Moonlight Symphony has gained a victory here. What an effort by Idolo and Dolores. But in the end, it was the power and technique 
of the Moonlight Symphony, Shy and Lucy. As we go through the replays here, Lucy delivering that swinging like rock bottom, sliding Dolores right into the canvas. But one of the ace in the holes was this, just her picking up Udolo and just launching her to the center of the ring. But then again, the deadliest move in OCA, well, one of those deadliest moves, they eat the Lulia. Putting both hands across the chest, and the referee just going right for the one, the two, and the three. We might simply gains the victory. And I look forward to seeing what Sai and Lucy will do next. They, and Lu, you know, Sai has the destiny to get the women's championship. The Queen of Roses, or even the tag. Sai has a legacy to fulfill as being the new Kamikaze Rose. And Lucy, along with the ride. And these two, they make one hell of a team. And wait, what the heck? Mokaku's down. Well, he's going through a system. She's here. What? Well, he believes, I think, it's Metis. What the heck does Mokaku mean by that? I don't know who the heck attack. Who would have the guts to attack World's Root? And right now, coming up next, Taiga will be taking on Marie Silva. The other ring is probably one of the most popular wrestlers of SCA. Taiga probably has the most popular name. Because everybody likes to say it like Taiga. Well, I can't do it the way Joel Knight says. But anyway, Ty is making her way to the ring. Former SCA Women's Champion, as well as former SCA Women's Television Champion. And Ty is looking forward to trying to get the women's title back. And she'll also be taking on Marie Silva. And I don't know much about Marie Silva, I, but according to what we, what we do know so far, is that Marie Silva was the one that ended the kid's legacy. Making him, she, making him lose not just the money, the fame, the pride. Marie Silva, not just a boxer, but also a kickboxer and a submission fighter. And making her ring right now is Marie Silva. The crowd is in a mixture. They don't know what they don't. They, they don't know what to think of Marie Silva. Hey, Marie Silva, the kid called, uh, she wanted her robe back. And again, everybody has custom robes nowadays. And Marie Silva looks like she's in the business. She said not only is she after the kid, she's also in it for the money. But I wonder, what does she mean by that? What, does the kid have a higher kid on her head? Marie Silva, probably one of the most richest, wanted to be wanting in for the money. Silva in it for the money, she's in for the fame and the popularity. She wants to, just like she took the kid's popularity away in, the, in boxing, she's willing to do the same thing here in SCA. I wonder how did Marie Silva find the kid, or better yet, why she was in SCA? Like, I, like, it's not just the kid, but the money? Let's see what the Marie Silva can do. Here we go, this is a 10 minute match. And Marie Silva is showing some, showing, unleashing a bunch of boxing carnage and a strike and a knee right to the face. Tiger be, Tiger just being overwhelmed here. And catching Tiger with a shin breaker. And Tiger's holding on to her knee. I think Tiger tweaked her knee. And Marie Silva going to take advantage of this, just delivering a series of kicks to the knee, to the back of it. Oh, whoa. What a punch right there. The kid's not the only one with boxing ability here. It's driving the knee to the canvas. Marie Silva created a, a, a clever opening. Taiga tweaked her knee from that from that from that, from that shin breaker. Hurting her leg. But Taiga fighting back fighting back someone just kicking her in the back. Taiga trying to make sure to do whatever in her power, make sure that Marie Silva does not take advantage of the knee. Fighting the pain. Marie Silva with a counter. And oh my god, once again, going right for the shin breaker. 
What's he going for the injured? Well, the partially injured knee is stomping right on it. Reese still without any opening. She is going to exploit it. And she's going right for that leg lock. Single like leg lock. Tiger trying to make it a little ropes, but she can't. Tiger trying to fight the pain. Tiger will kick Marie Silva right dead in her face. She's gonna kick Marie Silva in the knee. Show how she likes it. Marie's got some heavy knee pads. And a spinning head is just taken down by Tiger. Tiger going up top. Tiger going right for an elbow. Right to the straight to the waist of Marie Silva. Marie Silva just got up. Like it was nothing. And just kicking Tiger right in the face. He's still showing some really impressive ability here. And delivering an elbow drop of her own on Tiger. Marie Silva enjoying every minute of this. Oh, what a super kick! Just stilling Tiger going right for a roundhouse kick! He's punching her, taking her around. Kicking her in the knee. And Marie Silva, what's this? The silver bullet! Tiger just got caught with the silver bullet by Marie Silva. It is putting her feet on the ropes for good measure. One, two, three. Marie Silva is the winner of this match. And let's see this on the replay. She's going right for the super kick and then following it up with a roundhouse kick. But one of the end games was this. Kick Tiger right in the injured knee and going right for the silver bullet. And then putting her feet on the ropes for good leverage, going for the cover, the one, two, and the three. Marie Silva making short work of Tiger. Tiger was not able to deliver any, uh, almost barely any type of offense. Marie Silva just exploited that knee. If that's what Marie Silva could do, I don't know what she could do to be up to anyone else. Fame and money, that's all Marie Silva cares about. Especially the money, she's looking forward to get her hands on the kid. Right now, coming next is our grudge match. Moe will be taking on Igus. World's continuation of World's Ruin versus Seas. This has been a huge situation. Moe, the SK Women's Champion, who successfully defended her title at Girls Night Out last season, but also injured Metis's shoulder and giving Metis bruised ribs. Then she looked forward to try to take Igus out as well at Serenity. But Igus was able to capitalize and counter Moe's tactics. And now it's all come to head here. Will Moe finish what she started with, started with Igus? Or will Igus get even with Moe? Moe, the tactician of World's Ruin. Okaku being one of those deadly. Okaku was taken out earlier by some mysterious person. We don't know who would attack the women's tag team, one and a half of the women's tag team champions. And wait, what the hell? I guess it's a part of she's knocked out. But who attacked I guess? And why? I guess she's not moving. And waiting right in the This is the Tower of Sins music, but why? Teddy, why is Teddy coming out here? What business does Teddy have with Moe? Has she been the one to attack Lokaku? Tenny is one of the members of the Tower of Sin and will be representing SCA and the Tower of Sin in the Army of Darkness at the Court Rose Knight Deed Invitational. But what is Tenny's business out here? Moe was supposed to take on Ice, but I don't know, folks. We gotta see how this plays out.
Moe's wondering. She, they, this is the first time Tenny and Moe have ever met in the ring. But what is Tenny doing here? What does she want? That's what I want to know. Maria, Maria want, and Moe turning around. Oh my God! It's Kinte. And if you guys, and if no one knows, Kente one of what at one time, Nanban had an alliance with Kente. Kente said that they would, that they wanted to take that, that if you help me, I'll help you take over South Kanto. And Moyu is getting laid out by Kente and Tenny. They're kicked in a knee to the spine. Moyu is sitting duck. She is at the mercy of Kente and Tenny. Kente of the Army of Darkness and Tenny of, of the Tower of Sin. Both sides led by Dark Sakura. Moot! What a splash right there by Kente. Kente going up top. And we another Moot saw on Moyu. This is so messed up. And a super kick there by Kente. And Tenny slamming her to the canvas. Kente, what's this? She's going for like a swing like neck breaker. And Tenny setting her up to the will of God. Kente and Tenny laid out Moe, but why? Like I know this, I'm well aware of the, of the, of the history between Nanban and Kente. But I believe that the, the Tao of Sin and the Army of Darkness wanted to send a message to not just everybody in eternity, but to, and to Serenity. No one is sick. Tenny will be the most ideal invitational to send a message to all the members of the tournament. Alright guys, main event time. The Kid will be taking on HWO's April Acid. The Kid was being on a roll lately. The Kid with the shocking victory at the tag team match in Serenity. When her and Deanna Diamond teamed up to take on Deanna Diamond. That's, wow, not Deanna. Moyu. No, I'm not Moyu. <laughs> wow. I'm just messing up here. I hate these time these jumps. Yomoshine and Envy. And while Deanna Diamond and Ryomo were fighting in the back. And he was not paying attention, and the kid launched a vicious uppercut and not Envy on her ass. And the kid won by knockout. And I believe the kid is on HWS hit list. To make things worse, Marie Silva is also after the kid as well. I don't know if the kid is aware that Marie Silva is here. And the kid is being targeted by the HWO. And Envy sent April Acid to take on it on, on, on the team. In this one-on-one -on -one contest, this main event. But you can tell the kid doesn't care. The kid is ready. She has to take out all the members of the HWO to one day get a shot at the goal. She'll do it. She's ready. Here comes April Acid of the HWO. The first time April Assey will be in action. She'll be taking on the kid in this one-on-one -on -one match. I don't know how many times I've repeated myself with that. Here we go. Santa Bell, the match is underway. And April has to start off with a fought with an elbow and a kick to the knee. And the kid just using those boxing like punches. Another elbow. Kid getting worked on by the leg and April has to taking her down. Spinning calf kick. 
April Asset personally sent by Envy to try to take the kid down or send a mess to the kid to not mess with the HWO. I think Envy's still hurting from that loss. Envy stated that she wanted to continue her father's legacy. And what, and what better way in Envy's mind was to use her own version of her father's legendary faction, the HWO. But the HWO not had a good start. And the kid, whoa, what a shot right there by Envy. I mean the kid, wow, I can't believe I said Envy. And the kid. Oh, in a short time the kid's been here, she's made her mark. She put a hell of a match against the Ravishing Crystal. Then she knocks out Envy. That's in waves. And the kid's delivering an elbow drop right there to April Acid. And punching April Acid right in the knee. And the kid's getting control of this match. April Acid being overwhelmed <coughs> by the punching power of the kid. Real Acid breaking the cover, going right for a hur Hurricane Rana. And don't underestimate. I wouldn't underestimate anybody in the HWO. Another Hurricane Rana there for Frankensteiner by April Acid. A blast showing off. I would be focused more on working on the king and showing off to the crowd. And a blast delivering a stiff elbow right to the back of the kid's head. Once again, a blast focusing on the fans and not focusing on what her her and what I believe her mission would be. To send a message to the kid. So, but a blast. I don't think it matters. A blast didn't well control this match. Springboard Bulldog right there by Ebel Acid going right for the cover. But if you one, two, no. And the kid delivering some jabs, setting Ebel Acid right in the butt, delivering a hard right hand. Another hard right hand right to the gut. And one right to the chin. It's shoving Ebel Acid down. Turning her around. Right for a turn around backbreaker. The kid getting right back control of this, of this matchup. Blasted reversing. Blasted spinning. Head to his tape now. Going right up the top. Right for a corkscrew. Catching the kid with, a, with, a, with her leg. The kid able to get back on her feet. I'm like, it always amazes me how the kid's able to get back up from no matter how hard she's hit. And he blasts, has got a right in a full Nelson. Working on the shoulder, working on the neck. But the kid able to get out of it. And doing a stiff hand, stiff hook, right on April Acid. And a huge uppercut to the chin. The same uppercut that took Envy out. Whoa, April Acid able to duck under, going right behind the kid and delivering a bulldog. April Acid saw that uppercut coming. Wait, what's April Acid doing? What? This is not a no disqualification match. And another uppercut there by April Acid. I mean, the kid, excuse me. Ah! What in the name of God was that? And the kid setting eight last to the crowd. Or what the heck? That was a few minutes, a few seconds ago. And wait, he blasted with an elbow right to the kid's head. And whoa, a loose head off the top. That was impressive. One. Two, no. The kid kicking out at two. And that chair, I believe, is still in the ring. And it is. And the kid going right for a abdominal stretch, working on the ribs, the arms, and the neck of April Acid. Trying to wear April Acid down. And April Acid using a hip toss to get out of it. Hey, wait a minute. April Acid with the chair. And that's, that's a disqualification. But April Acid doesn't give a damn. I don't even think this is about the match. I think it was about the HWO sending a message to the kid. And the kid getting laid out with that kick. And a running bulldog right there by April Acid. Just kicking her right in the back of the skull. And the 
kid. Oh my god, the kid just got up. Another shot. A Brass being caught with those punches. And a mean right hook. The difference maker right there. The kid may have been down, but she's not out. And the kid just fighting back. Setting A Brass up for a ride. And setting it right to the outside. Wait a minute, what the? Who's this? Sergeant Clements. Sergeant Clements of the HW will make her way to the ring. But why? Match is over. I mean, Sergeant Clements is another person. No, just came out here to get her hands on the kid. Probably Envy trying to send a message to the kid to not mess with the HWO. Sergeant Clements has no business out here. Why is she out here? Kid is ready for a fight. But she's, but she's looking in the eyes of one of the most dangerous women here. And she wants the kid right now. And the referee just telling her straight up, you know, the kid just had a match. She's telling the referee straight up, she does not care. She wants the kid right here, right now. She's going at the kid while she's retired, or while she's been weakened by April Lassie. Will the ref allow this? Will the kid accept the mat this this challenge? And the kid, she doesn't care. She wants such comments right here, right now. Here we go. This is a non-sanctioned match. This is an extra match. This is non-sanctioned. Search comes to running a boot right to the spine of the kid. I hope, I, I hope the kid knows what she's getting herself into. And judging by that, I think this is a non-sanctioned table match. As Sarge comes is bringing that table in there. You see all the tables outside the ring. Kid. Delivering a series of shots. And another shot to the head. Shot to the gut. I hope she knows what she's doing. She's going against Sergeant Clements of all people. A veteran, not just in the speed in this business, but also uh, one half of one of the most dominant tag teams in SEA. And that's original sin. Her and the now deceased Rowdy Rayco. And Sergeant Clements going for an electric chair drop, dropping the kid on the back of her head. Search comes is just as dangerous as they come. The kid has one hell of a challenge here. Is dropping the kid on the tail that on that folded table. The kid may be a good boxer, but she's going against one of the most dangerous brawler slash powerhouse in SCA. Envy she made the right choice of choosing uh, Sergeant Clements. Oh my god, Death Valley! She could have broken the kid's neck with that! Once again, so it's kind of going out the ring. She's grabbing another table, and the kid, despite the fact he dropped in the back of her head, she's just getting back up to her feet. How is the kid doing this? The kid putting Sergeant Clements on the table, is choking out with the glove. And once again, trying to keep Sergeant Clements on that table. Going right at the top rope. Wait a minute. The kid with a fist. No. Oh! Clemens got away. And the kid ain't table. She ain't wood. Wait. Sarge Clemens. Bring her to the top. What the. Oh my god. She put her leg first through the table. But the table didn't break. And this is a non sanctioned and wait, before I say anything, Sarge comes with that stiff pile driver. This is a non-sanctioned table match. But here's the thing. You don't win by putting your opponent through the table. You gotta put your opponent through a flaming table. And Sarge comes to be glad about that. She's gonna enjoy ripping the kid apart. And Sarge just drop kick the kid to the outside. 
the kid being taken apart right now. And whoa, what's this? Sergeant Clements power bombing the kid on that table. Her head hit the table, but it didn't break. That time it did break. The kid, I don't know if she knows what she's getting herself into. She's going, to, like I said, well, she's going to one of the most dangerous women here in SCA. Kid is trapped in this situation. And wait a minute. Clint sitting her up for the prison of love. Sorry, Clint is enjoying taking the kid apart piece by piece. He's driving her arm right on her knee. And just driving her death first on that table. And once again, Sergeant Clements just pile driving her. I think she pile driving her mind, her soul, all the way back to Texas. Sergeant Clements enjoying destroying the kid. And he's gotta be loving every minute of this. Headbutt! And our overhead burn blade super to the table. The kid, I think she's done. Serge so Clements running outside the ring, grabbing another table. And the kid is out. Oh my god, what the? And the kid, she just got back to her feet. How is she doing this? Despite the beating, despite being worn out, that kid just got back out to me, <clears throat> and, and 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 she is caught. Serge Goods with a loose end with two punches, and a hard uppercut. You can't win this match with a knockout. Yeah, you, you win this match by putting your opponent through a flaming table. Serge Clements being punched by the kid. Another punch by the kid. And just throwing her right on the table. But the table did not break. Send her right again on the buckle. Send her to the buckle. German suplex. Try the kid. Kid just grabbing the table. He's hitting Sergeant Clements with it. I think Sergeant Clements is going to re regret not putting away the kid when she had the chance. The kid just with a second win. Wait, Sarge comes saw an uppercut coming. And just ending all the momentum the kid had with a full Nelson slam. And now going up top. You really often see Sarge Clements on the top row. Wait, but Sarge Clements got crushed. He didn't do a jump in time. That release belly to belly suplex. An overhead belly belly suplex I might add off the top of rope. Kid grabbing her by the arm. And delivering a series of punches and another one right to the jaw. Just delivering a series of boxing moves right to the gut. And another one. Oh, shot to the chin. Kid. And now trying to catch her breath, regain her bearings. Just dropping a fist right on Sergeant Clintz. And the table's on fire! All the kid has to do is just put Clements away. Or whatever. And wait! Oh my god, what a shot! Right to the throat! The kid with a hard punch to the throat of Sergeant Clements. No, Sergeant Clements with a big boot. Just getting the other side. And the kid, oh my gosh, she got punched, she got, she flipped. Clemens trying to go up the air, trying to go for a knee. But look at the kid, <coughs> with an arm jam off the top, but it's it. The kid puts Sergeant Clemens to a flaming fucking table. Excuse my language. I can't believe it. Despite the beating she took from April Acid, despite what she got put through in this match, I guess Sergeant Clemens, that kid was able to overcome the odds once again. The h -Dub Envy it must not be liking this. Envy's gotta be pissed off right now. 
that RJ to the flame is evil. She put Sergeant Clements away. What is next for the kid? The kid doing some great things here at SCA. And what an impact here. She beat not. She overcame one of the most dangerous women, one of the most dangerous veterans here in the sport. Well, the HW playing next to try to take on Deanna Diamond and the kid. Well, anyway, guys, running out of time. This is the James Dacker, Jason Mocha saying good fight, good night. Let's see you at SC Serenity.